Hello and welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, this is a collective reading for the fire energies of Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Anybody with a fire placement here. Uh, and whether or not you're checking in on a Sagittarius, it's, uh, it's going to resonate for you somewhere. And definitely take what resonates and leave what doesn't because some things may be occurring now presently for you. Some things may occur in the future. And we are going to so check into the general energies and see what's happening. So welcome. And don't forget to like. Don't forget to like. Okay. It's so important to support your fellow fire signs. Okay. It helps others to understand you better by listening to these messages and seeing what's going on with you that maybe some things otherwise you can't say yourself so remember that it's very important to support each other support the channel so that the messages get out there if it's helping you we definitely need to help others don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of future readings okay and for those of you returning thank you so much for your continued support your donations your messages uh, the comments you've made I have tried to reply to most of them. Sometimes I can't possibly reply to all of them. Okay, let's see what's going on. I'm gonna pull up three messages. You are meant to hear them all. And this may play from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with. Mm. Okay, so Spirit is saying, awesome. You're gonna um, feel some kind of re recognition and reward coming soon here. There's some kind of you know, rewards you're going to be able to reap here. Very nice. Okay, so this is about truth and clarity. Trust your intuition. Spirit wants you to trust your intuition. Everything's going according to plan here. Okay, so whatever you've been kind of working on or working towards, whether that's work or whether it's pleasure, Spirit wants you to know that the truth is coming, clarity is coming. You're going to be recognized for whatever. I mean, if you had to speak up, let's say in an office environment, your work situation here, uh, you, you said exactly, maybe you went by your gut feeling, your intuition here, and you you told your boss exactly how you felt or what you wanted, you know. Um, maybe you said, you know, I'm going to leave if I don't get this position I've worked so hard for. Uh, maybe not quite like that, but you kind of spoke up for yourself, yay. Um, either way, or it could be a relationship, could be a family situation, anything. Spirit says that you're going to be recognizing, you're going to be recognized for being very honest and straightforward and trusting your gut on that decision to do that. So it's awesome. Don't go anywhere. We're also going to pull some tarot charms i'm going to get your messages on the traditional tarot mutual energies between you and who you might be dealing with on our exclusive shacy prism tarot that's available at shacy.com and this is the energy of the person you're dealing with it can be vice versa it can be a combination of both of your energies i'm going to get what's going on with the divine masculine for those of you who feel like hanging out or dealing with a divine masculine um, and for those of you hanging out or dealing with the divine feminine, we're going to find out what the messages are. I'm going to pull some fun tarot of sexual magic messages when I pull these. It's adults only, just FYI. And I'm going to pull some overall vintage uh, messages here for you right now. Uh, this is the Aquarian deck. So these are about 32 years old now. So let's see what's going on in your general overall energy and what the messages are for Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Angels and Spirits for April 2022. What are the most important messages they need to hear? Let's see what's going on. I've got a fire placement as well. So again, like you can check the playlist for your other placements if you know what they are. If you don't know what they are, you can go to astrosofa.com. It's a free resource to check your own chart out there. If you know your birth date, your time, your location, the closer you can get to your energy, obviously, the better it is. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Angels and Spirits. What are the newest messages they need to hear? I always meditate upon your energy prior to putting on the camera. And the reason why I do that is it's quite long. And I don't want you guys to get bored waiting for that. Ooh, nice way to start your reading. So you have the Six of Cups. This is soulmate energy. Could be someone from your past or past life connection. Someone you have a soul tie to. Very nice here. Okay, so... Interesting, you could be coming together with this person or you may run into them, see them again. Maybe your gut's telling you that something's coming or you're you're trying to trust your intuition onto what's coming for you here. Very nice energy. Some of you, this could be dealing with children as well. That's not gonna be for all of you or it could be someone from your childhood. Mm -hmm. It's like, I can't do this much longer here. I'm exhausted. Somebody has a lot of responsibilities could involve children, you or them. 
I say you or them. It can be anybody affecting your energy, a family member, a friend, a co-worker, a boss, a sister, a brother. You understand it could be a cousin, <laughs> long distance cousin, could be anybody. The point is, is that it's a general message. So it's, it's not going to resonate for all of you. And if it doesn't now, it definitely can in the future. I've had things happen for me up to a year into a row. So just keep that in mind. If you want a personal reading, shacy.com, they are open presently, but somebody's like, kind of like overwhelmed here. I've got so many responsibilities. I'm just exhausted. So that could be you, it could be whoever you're dealing with, but it's, it's like, for some of you, this is a soulmate. This is somebody that you feel deeply connected to, but it's weighing you down a lot. It's like, what should I do here? It's it's like, I can't take much more. And it can be that you're waiting to be recognized by this person. You feel this person's your soulmate and you feel like, you know, you, you can't hold on to this truth much longer about how you feel. You're trying to trust your intuition as to whether or not you should go see this person or reach out to this person or they you. Mm, yeah okay so this can be that I'm, I'm trying to figure out whether I should kind of just sneak away from this connection and lay it down or whether I should speak my truth and I'm trying to trust my intuition on which direction to go here which direction is right for me here interesting Clarify the Seven of Swords could be dealing with a Libra Aquarius or a Gemini or another fire sign or a Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, somebody could be hiding their feelings. Could be dealing with a Queen of Cups, Scorpio Pisces or Cancer. This is someone who's highly intuitive. It's like I'm almost ready to let this go here. Like I don't know what to do. I'm trying to figure out and trust my gut on what, what to do here. I feel like someone has a ton of, of feelings for somebody and it's overwhelming and yet they're not speaking up about how they feel. It's like, I want to see you or come back together with you or, and I'm trying to figure out what I should do. And it's kind of like, I'm almost at the end of my rope here because the queen of cups is somebody who's highly intuitive, right? The queen of cups is someone who's loving, nurturing, makes a great parent usually, uh, is someone that's almost psychic, is someone that is very devoted, very supportive, very honest. This Queen of Cups may be feeling like, you know, you're trying to get away with something or vice versa, it could be, or someone they're dealing with here. What is the truth? It's like, I'm kind of waiting to speak my truth here or I'm waiting to hear the truth here because this is too much. I just don't want to wait anymore. It's, it's like I, I can't do this anymore. I feel like somebody cannot stand not speaking about how they feel anymore. What is going on, please, angels and spirits? For Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what is going on in their energy or the energy of the person around them? What do they need to know for the, for uh, April 2022? So in part two, we'll be pinned down below. I'm going to focus on sneak peeking into May and perhaps a little bit of June. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's like I feel, this is like I feel the lowest of the lowest. I feel like I've been betrayed, let down, like someone hasn't told me the truth. And I'm trying to trust my intuition here as to what's going on. For some of you, there's someone else involved here or you feel there's someone else. Yeah, look at that. I can't make that up. I'm, I'm waiting for the truth here or I'm gaining the clarity that, you know, I, I just can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't not speak my truth perhaps here. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Like someone's going to become very clear or speak their truth because they can't, they can't deal with this anymore. They can't hold this in anymore. Mm. Six of Pentacles. Like, I want this equal give and take. Someone wants to come out from, from out in the cold here, but they, they have to speak the truth in order to do that. This is, I'm becoming very, very clear on which direction I'm meant to go, that this is a soulmate connection here. Or speaking truth to children. It could be for some of you here who have children. But either way, it's, it's about, you know, opening up and speaking very clearly about what you want, which direction you want to go, 
and I feel like spirit is saying in a very supportive and loving way with the Queen of Cups there. Do what the Queen of Cups would do. Speak in a very honest, very clear, very open, very supportive and loving way. The truth shall set you free. It shall set you on your rightful path. It will allow you to lay down whatever has been burdening you for so long. This is a cycle that has gone on for a super long time. And in order to balance this situation out, we need to speak up. We need to trust our intuition that we will be rewarded for our efforts of coming clean of whatever our feelings or whatever is going on here. Like, what are we afraid of here? Like, this is such a burden. Why wouldn't you want to lay this down? What is going on with Sagittarius, Aries, Leo's person of interest now are coming to work them in the future. They need to be made aware for April 2022. What is going on? If you choose to join the Shacy Spiritual Warrior family membership, that is pinned down below as well. It's, it gives you unlimited part twos, okay? So where I'm going to dig even deeper into your person's energy and clarify whatever we uh, get here today here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or person of interest now. We're coming toward them in the future. What are they holding back on? What are they keeping to themselves here for April 2022? What are they holding back on here? What are they keeping to themselves? Okay, they want to lay down a burden. They want to end something here that has been very, very painful. It's been too many responsibilities. It's kind of like, I can't do this anymore. Somebody's scared to speak up and say, they can't do this anymore. They want to end this situation. There's something that somebody wants to end in their life here. It's, I want to let go of somebody or something here. Okay, it's, uh, you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, another one like yourself, or a Scorpio. And Scorpio is about death and transformation. We've also got strong cancer energy here as well for some of you. Clarify the death energy here. Okay, so someone is having a tough decision to make, but here's the thing. This is being spiritually guided with the lover's energy here. Someone has a choice to make, and they're being spiritually guided to go on their true and correct path with the Ten of Swords to the Ace of Swords. They're getting the download from the universe, from the angels, to uh, let go of something that has not been going well for a very long time. It's a cycle that needed to end a long time ago. Imagine like a bag of chips, okay? And it's from like 1992. <laughs> time to let that bag of chips go, okay? They as uh, stale as stale can get. I can't take another bite of another chip. I will literally, anyway, you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> has a choice to make and I'm not making light of it it's just that somebody's waiting way too long to make that choice and that's why it's become so painful is because we've got to know when to let certain things go we've got to know when that expiry date is coming and somebody is being very divinely guided to do just that okay there is a soulmate or a spiritual connection or a certain path that you are meant to take. And spirit saying, it's time to make that decision. It's time to let go what has been so painful here for so long. And it's like someone is trying to almost sneak away because it's almost like I don't wanna deal with making this choice or this decision, okay? We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna clarify lovers in part two because um, I want to go ahead and get the mutual energies. We definitely want to see what and how you and your person coming towards you now or in the future. You know, I feel like this is someone you know. Someone has a choice to make, either you or whoever you're dealing with or someone close to you here. What are the mutual energies between Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and whoever they're dealing with? How are they mirroring one another when it comes to the connection now or in the near future for April 2022? What are the mutual energies? Their hopes, dreams, wishes, fears, any blockages, communication, how they're feeling. How are they mutually marrying one another when it comes to their connection? Whoa, that came flying out. Wow. So it can be that one or both of you need to travel or move here. And that's the choice. That's that's the choice that someone's trying to make. 
it can represent that, you know, I need to speak up here that, you know, I need to get a way to speak to my soulmate, my person, the person I'm meant to be with that, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to move, how to travel. It can be that someone needs to speak the truth to their family or their children, the fact that they need to move or they, they have, you know, they want to move or they are moving. Okay, someone, I feel like you're both very, very single, you're self-sufficient, you're totally independent here. Mm -hmm. It can be that somebody needs to travel and move in order to become self-sufficient as well. Like maybe there's a job at a distance here that requires travel and moving for some of you here. But there's been delays. There's There's been delays. And I feel like the reason is someone's had a difficult time speaking up, speaking the truth that they they want to move or they need to move towards a new position, a new job. It can be, again, with recognition and reward that somebody has been promoted, uh, made a boss, made whatever. It's, it's like, you know, um, it will allow me to lay down the burdens. Perhaps somebody has a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, expenses that they they can they can you know maybe they were offered another job here as well like you know i've been offered a position here uh, at, at a distance and in order for me to to pay off a lot of debt that has been overwhelming for me i need to go to that job or position travel move it could be for others of you this is like i've just i'm done where i'm at and i i have a spiritual connection with somebody and i'm I need to speak up in order to move forward here. And I feel like someone's trying to almost get away from making that choice or decision here. Or it can be, again, for some of you, that somebody needs to get away from another position or um, circumstance that they're in in order to speak their truth about, you know, I have... I have responsibilities, I'm almost ready to let them go, I'm ending a situation, and I'm traveling and moving towards you here, okay, and that's the messages I'm getting, let's see what's going on in the Divine Masculine's energy, for those of you dealing with the Divine Masculine, I'm using my Tempted Masculine deck, this deck is down below, available for purchase, if you so wish to check that out, these are all the sentiments I have come up with as well as pictures I have taken over the years. Let's see what's going on in the Divine Masculine's energy. What are the messages we need to hear? What do they want to say? What are the messages from the Divine Masculine? This is called the Tempted Masculine, by the way, just in case you didn't see that. All right, let's see what's going on. I cannot sleep some nights because the thoughts of you and I haunt me. I wish things could be different. Okay, so someone is not speaking up for some of you here. The Divine Masculine is not speaking up about how they're feeling here. You know, they're keeping the truth of how they feel for you um, from you here. And it's because there's a choice they have to make that they're not really wanting to make right now. And it can be because it involves travel and moving somehow. And they're not ready to deal with that situation here. Okay. There's something that they're ending in their life here, I feel, and making a choice. And it's been really heavy on their heart. You deserve better than how I treated you. I know I'm not perfect. I have to resolve my issues. I do not expect you to wait for me. So I feel like the Divine Masculine is definitely saying, you know, like, you don't deserve how I've been treating you here. And, you know, if, if you don't want to wait for me, I understand but there are certain things that I need to resolve here, all these responsibilities. And it can be that they got themselves into financial trouble, family trouble, whatever. And it's something that they need to deal with. It's not something that you can resolve for them. Let's get messages from the Divine Feminine. And then we're going to do the fun stuff. We're going to do the tarot charms and the tarot of sexual magic. Uh, let's see what's going on, angels and spirits. I'm going to shuffle this deck. I'm going to shuffle it again for the Divine Feminine. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The Divine Feminine always has so much to say. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I need my glasses for these ones. Oh, wow. The sound of your voice, your breath in my ear, the feeling of your body does things to me. I can't even explain. Wow. So if you've already... Uh, been with the divine feminine here they're they're remembering every little bit of your intimate moments here for sure <laughs> i want to jump on you and tear off your clothes whenever i see you you're so hot to me so the divine feminine is really like missing you wanting to see you loving the sound of your voice wanting you to breathe on them here and uh they can't even explain what you do to their body what you do to my body, baby? <laughs> so 
sorry, that just came to my mind. I've had readings done to ask about us. So the Divine Feminines had readings on you, whoever is watching, um, that they want to know what's going on with you. Again, looking for the truth, trying to trust their intuition here. Mm -hmm. I get nervous because you're so impressive. So somebody's definitely getting nervous. It's like, you've impressed me. Very nice energy. Let's get some tarot charms here now. What are the messages, please, for Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Sun, and Rising, and Venus for April 2022? Wow. Okay. So, yeah, this is definitely affecting family. This is a family tree, and then there's the skeleton. We also have the death here as well. So, something's transforming. Something's ending. Something new is beginning, and it's affecting family or children here somehow. So I feel like this is why someone is having such a tough time making a choice. But spirit is saying, you know, this is spiritually guided. These are major arcana. So for those of you brand new, major arcana means that um, the major arcana in Tarot means that there's major life cycles that are um, ending and new ones beginning and things are changing. And it's all in divine timing and it's all spiritually guided by the universe for you to move forward, to learn your lessons and to uh, graduate into the next chapter of your life. And so someone's having to, um, you know, sort things out in their life and get things in order. And these are some of the lessons that they're meant to take in order to... To progress here you're not meant to um, stay stagnant for forever here you're meant to learn lessons and continue to move forward and learn more lessons okay and that's what's going on but there has been some interference okay there's been some interference here and I feel like spirit saying you know there's a choice to be made here and it's time for you to end this difficult painful cycle here Someone's had all the responsibility and it's kind of like, I just, I can't do it anymore. And spirit says that, you know, you're becoming wise like that owl or you will learn from these experiences and, and be very wise and be sure to watch others around you. I, I feel like spirit is saying, don't trust everybody and everything because there could be somebody that hasn't been very honest and I feel like the truth is coming here it can just be that I haven't said how I really feel I feel that's mostly what's going on here I haven't said how I really feel here and once I get that into the open I will be able to go towards my rightful path here I'll be able to be um financially independent and self-sufficient here because I'm moving towards a job, a career, or a better situation, or a soulmate, a twin flame. For some of you here, I'm getting both. Uh, that will allow me to have a very balanced life and balanced uh, both financially and spiritually here is what I'm getting. is a spiritual connection here somehow. Um, someone's spiritually evolving, let's put it that way, okay? And they're learning to trust. I feel their intuition or that's what spirit's saying they need to do. All right, let's pull the fun ones, Tarot of Sexual Magic. So if there's any kids in the room, they shouldn't be watching this part. There's just kind of like some cheeky pictures, cheeky pictures here. What's going on, Angels and Spirits, with Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I will pull more of these as well for May. And again, I will try to see how much time I have to sneak peek into June, but... Um, just keep in mind, even though I'm doing this reading now, it may not resonate for you for two, three, six, eight months. You know, each one of you is going to be different. You're in a timeline at different times. Oh, <laughs> yeah, someone's been really holding back here. So somebody's been holding back on making a decision, making a choice here. Okay, because I feel like it's a tough decision. It affects family here for many of you here. Or it it's the fact that someone has been very dishonest so they're being very careful about how they proceed forward here in order to go on their new journey their new path here they feel like they have to be careful because they can't trust certain people around them with this knowledge this plan um travel or moving arrangements they're trying to make here yeah okay so some of you someone is already in a commitment here and they have all the responsibilities in that commitment and they're completely exhausted and they're ready to let it go. But first they're trying to make plans and organize in advance here. 
because you know it's like I have this spiritual connection somewhere and I know that this is my rightful path my rightful place this is where I'm going to be balanced this is where I'm going to be happy and I'm not going to speak my truth until I have all my ducks in a row here is what someone is thinking mm -hmm. and then I will take action toward my soulmate my twin flame or my rightful path uh, yeah, and that's why we're moving slowly and carefully because it's like we want things to be secure here. We want to know that we got you right where I want you. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, you know, I'm very passionate. I'm very driven. I'm taking the action, but I'm also being very carefully. Uh, I'm, I'm also being very careful in planning and organizing my money, my pentacles, my finances. Okay, um, I feel like someone here is really watching their money and that's why they're trying to be careful and and holding back is because they are trying to be financially responsible and they're giving to everybody else financially they've had all the burdens they've been making all the payments in the family or have all the responsibilities in the family so they're they're trying to balance all of that plus make future travel moving plans either towards a job a soulmate or a twin flame here and i'm doing a lot of thinking here you know there i feel they're really really thinking about you long and hard and wanting i feel future commitment here in the long term scheme of things here i feel like that is the future plan you know i want to balance our connection here but first i have to um, make make certain choices, travel arrangements. I keep getting that moving. Somebody has to move. It's not necessarily travel. It could be just moving a couple of blocks. I don't know. Like I said, each one of you is going to be different. Yeah, there's communication and travel coming for most of you here. It's like, I want to see you. I can't wait to feed you those grapes. Look at that. Oh yeah. Somebody is like, I feel like the passion between you and a soulmate or, or somebody that is hot on you. Okay is is like really thinking about coming towards you like that is the that is the drive behind their strength you have given them strength through your passion i feel your supportive love um if you're the queen of cups here i feel they look at you as loving and nurturing and supportive and that they're really thinking about you here they may be worried for some of you that you're getting away from them Okay, so I'm going to start digging in part two. I hope this resonated for you. Don't again forget again to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share. Um, hit the notification bell if you want to not be notified of future readings. Uh, personal readings again are at shacy.com. Let's start digging into part two. So for those of you that want to join the Shacy Spiritual Warrior membership family, you have to go to a desktop or be on an Android phone. It won't work on an Apple phone. Um, Anyhow, or if you just want to purchase as you go, that's down there as well. And then it doesn't matter. So it's entirely up to you. It doesn't matter to me. It's all an option for you that want to dig deeper if this is resonating for you. For those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me on part two, I will be right there. I'm going to focus on May, part of June if I can. I'm going to clarify the lovers. We're going to find out what this choice decision is going to be. We're going to find out what, you know, what we're balancing here with the Six of Pentacles and what is this Queen of Pentacles up to, or Queen of Cups, rather. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Queen of Pentacles, a, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. That just popped in my head, so it could be for some of you. All right, I will see you all again next time. I thank you for being here. I thank you for your continued support. Namaste. This is going to take about five times. One, two, three, four, five. Six. <laughs> Six times seven. It's waking up here. This remote.